Well, we kicked off our Thursday with some warmer temperatures this morning. We just dropped into the 50s for most spots. We're anticipating that cold front to bring us some rain and much cooler temperatures. As of right now, taking a look at exact track, we are seeing this very broken up line of some showers slowly moving through portions of Wisconsin. They'll slowly move through portions of northern Illinois, bringing us potentially a very light sprinkle or perhaps a very brief light rain shower. Most of us may end up dodging the rain, but we still hold on to that chance at least through the first half of our afternoon. As of right now, you could probably spot that cold front. It's way up into the northwest. Those cooler temperatures will slowly start to sink toward our area into much of the Midwest, really dropping our temperatures. But back home, we're still hanging on to some fairly mild conditions into the upper 60s for most. 68 degrees over in Freeport, 66 for Poplar Grove, 65 over in Rochelle. We will climb into the upper 60s a couple more degrees. Some of us may end up breaking into those lower 70s. After that, of course, that cold front comes through and we're no longer dealing with the chance to rain tonight, just some chilly temperatures. But we still may see some showers bubbling up as we head into the afternoon, taking you through at least about 330 may see some of that activity linger. Some of us may dodge it entirely. So looking a little lower on the end when it comes to that precipitation chance later today, all that activity will exit later tonight, leaving us with drier conditions and to not only your evening overnight, but lots of sunshine into your Friday. For today, we still make break 70 degrees. Otherwise, upper 60s will be seen across the board. We still have that chance for some afternoon showers, very light in nature and scattered, and we'll also slowly start to turn breezier. Your winds will gust up to about 30 miles an hour, and as we head into tonight, your temperatures take a tumble. 38 degrees overnight low. We are going to see a little bit more cloud cover, but it will slowly start to exit, becoming partly to mostly clear into tomorrow morning morning as we see a lot of that cooler air is slowly starting to take over. So heading into your afternoon, we'll slowly start to drop as that cold front gets closer to home. We'll fall into those upper 30s overnight. Take a look how low your temperatures drop into Friday night. By Saturday morning, we'll drop into the 30s, 46 degrees into about Saturday morning at 10 a.m. So likely to feel a chill in the air through most of your weekend. After that, though, things will slowly start to warm up. So just in preparation for some of those freezing temperatures, may see our first freeze of the season Friday night. Clean out any gutters to get those leaves out. Any water that can freeze may cause a bit of a jam. Check any windows or doors for gaps or cracks, not letting in any of that cooler air. Disconnect any out outdoor hoses and winterize any of those pipes and faucets. If you don't do this now, you'll eventually have to as we're getting a little bit closer to those cooler months. Let's enjoy some of that warmer air for the time being. We'll still crack into those low 70s. As that cold front comes through, it'll really start to drop us into the 50s tomorrow 31 degrees for that overnight low and in your most accurate 10 day forecast we'll see lots of sunshine moving forward and we'll even end up back into those 70s by next tuesday cassandra